Today marks the start of a very special journey for a group of young people from northeastern and north central Pennsylvania. Children who have overcome medical obstacles will soon have a chance to share their stories with the world. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish joins us now in the central Pennsylvania newsroom with the details. Morgan? Hey Candace, you were there with me this afternoon to see all of the children's smiling faces as the Children's Miracle Network officially launched this year's campaign. The greater the obstacle, the more satisfaction in overcoming it. That's something these miracle kids all have in common. Children have been premature infants, children have cancer, children with hearing impairments and so forth. Sage had PRE malformation, um, she had brain surgery, she has Crohn's disease, um, numerous other uh, ailments but she's doing well now. Which is why it's time to celebrate them. This is an awesome day. It's my favorite day of the year. This is a great time to just, just sit back and just celebrate these kids. The Children's Miracle Network at Geisinger hosted a luncheon at the Pine Barn Inn in Danville to introduce the kids and their families. What was your favorite thing? The balloons! These are the faces of the 2019 fundraising effort for the Children's Hospital. It's not easy choosing a select few of the hundreds of children treated here each year. These kids are all, all chosen by their doctors and nurses uh, as being exceptional folks that uh, you know, have great stories. And so it's wonderful to see them all here for the first time in one place. Familiar eyewitness news faces were here as well, which will be bringing the story of one of these children. My kid is Martin Rubel. He is four years old. And what he has overcome in his short life, Morgan, he suffered four strokes. And as someone who also had suffered a stroke, it's just, I feel that instant bond with him. Mark Hiller says it's important to keep your head up. And we know what our goal is, to help other children who may find themselves in this circumstance have a positive outcome. Others agree. He's got to see positivity in order to thrive, and it's easier for him. As for the Miracle Kids, they're just grateful to be here. Honored, because this year there are eight miracle kids, four in the western region and four in the northeastern region of Pennsylvania. They will all be participa participating in events all throughout the year. In the Central Pennsylvania Newsroom, Morgan Parrish, Eyewitness News. Such a fun afternoon too, Morgan, thank you. And Children's Miracle Network celebration will take place on Monday, June 3rd. You can watch it and participate in on WYOU and this year for the first time on WBRE. Such a great and long-standing partnership mm -hmm. with those folks.